Hi, welcome back. Chef Jeff, I'm here at White Apron Catering. Um, today we're going to show you how we, how we do our sesame seared ahi tuna. Uh, we do this for an appetizer and serve it on a rice crisp with a little wasabi caviar and pickled ginger. Really goes well. I think people are going to like it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. What we do is I start with some nice ahi tuna, real fresh. You want to get like a sushi quality tuna and go ahead and we'll take that and I've just cut it into some nice logs. From here, we're going to take a little sesame oil. And then I sprinkle it with a little bit of blackened spice. Not too much, you just want to be able to give it a little bit of flavor. Now, I've also got some uh, mixed sesame seeds. I do some toasted and black sesame seeds. And this is mostly for the color and the flavor. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and now that it's all nice and coated and even, we're going to coat the tuna in the sesame seeds. Get a nice coat on all of it and set it off to the side. And we'll do that with the other piece. All right. And then from here, we're ready to sear it off. Sear off the tuna now. We've got our ahi tuna that we've crusted down in the sesame seeds. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear that off. We wanna keep it nice and rare. Flip the oven, you flip your stove on, we're gonna run that up at high. Um, I've just used a little canola oil. It's got a real high, real high smoke point and we wanna bring this up super hot. We're gonna bring it up almost to the smoke point. So we're gonna let that heat up and when it gets up to where it's really hot, we're gonna sear this tuna off. Now I found that the, tr the, the trick to this, the secret if you will, is not to sear it too long. I usually give it about a 10 count. Flip, 10, flip, 10, flip, 10. And that way you get all four sides coated, they get a nice sear, but the inside stays nice and rare. All right, now that we've got this nice and hot, we're up to the smoke, we're gonna go ahead and put our tuna in. Again, we're doing this here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And we'll just flip them over. And again, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, seven, nine, ten. And there's the last side. And there we go. Now you see, we've got a nice crust on there. It browned them up nice, and they're ready to go. And now that we've got this all seared, we're going back to the board, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to slice it up. Nice, even little slices. All right, now that we've got this sliced up, we're going to garnish them up and get them ready to serve. What I like to use is get a little wasabi caviar. This is a, the tobiko, the flying fish roe, and get that in, and then some pickled ginger that I've just fine minced. We'll take that, I'm going to take a little bit, get a little bit on a spoon, and just dab a little bit on each one. Now that wasabi, the wasabi caviar has a little bite to it as well, so you get the wasabi flavor in with that. And then the ginger is going to add the nice finish. So do a little bit of the ginger. And we'll finish each one up. And then I like to serve them on a nice crisp rice cracker. So we'll take those. And there you have it. That's our seared ahi tuna with the wasabi caviar and pickled ginger. This is one of the many hors d'oeuvres that we do here at White Apron Catering. Full service catering for all your needs. Uh, we're located at 1710 North Dixie Highway in Lake Worth and the phone number is 561-585-2985. Thank you.